Right, we've got the hotel tour out of the HD Park Christabel, but no one ever does what I like doing, and like I like to know what the hell's around it. So let's find out. Okay, this is the HD Park Christabel Tenerife in Playa de las Americas. Now, I am gonna take you this way, and I'm gonna take you this way. And I'm going to show you what's near this hotel, restaurants and bars. So let's start on this side and we'll start walking down and see what we can find. Well, first thing is, is if you forget your sunglasses, it ain't a problem. <laughs> Apart from a Sunday, not open. You've got your perfume palace here as well. So if you want to get all your duty free sort of perfume out for cheaper than you probably would in the UK, it's all here as well. Now, I'm going to be trying to cross over these roads to show you things because it's not going to be easy there's not much on this side but as you can see we've got the Gaelic corner I believe and the Dubliner now there is a few more hidden bars and that down these walks down here but the problem is if I do that this video is going to be longer than a Marvel movie and Marvel movies go on miles too long these days but there's many more down there both sides so go and check them out We've got the cocktail patch right here. Looks like a little kebab shop just there as well. Obviously you've got Los Angeles showing the football. So got your football on. Across the road you have got Tandoori Hut and Sugar and Spice. Oh, that's the loudest football TV I've ever had. And is it Dedos? That's a burger place, more like an American sort of burgers. We've got the lounge bar. Um, Daniel's, I believe it's called. Try that, it's quite good for cocktails and that. Some good bars down here for night entertainment as well. As you see, if I stopped everywhere, you'd never get anywhere. Now, to give you an idea for other hotels, if you're looking, you might stay at another one, you never know. Here's the Park San Diego, too. So it's quite short going this way, but going back. There's a lot more the other way. This way here, if you keep on walking down, it can take you to the Goldie Sandy Beach. It's like Las Vistas. But also, it can take you to the Golden Mile. So, well, that's where a bit more higher-end restaurants and bars are. Be a bit more expensive, but very nice. A couple more restaurants I've never been to here. The Restaurante Grill El Cetro. The best name I've ever seen for a shop, Baz Tenerife. Good old Baz, eh? As a Tenerife, Indian, say if you want an Indian dinner, right there, it's one choice. Restaurant Volcanos and Grill. So I'm literally just going to come to these shops here on the Park San Diego and that. Then we'll pause the video and we'll start again from the HD Christabel on the way back, close to the HD Christabel, and we'll continue down the other way then show you a lot more bars and restaurants what are nearby i just think this is a useful thing for people to give you an idea if you ever want to stay here hotel la siesta right there many of these hotels that people look up are so close to each other but you have plenty of options looks like we have vvc food center here a few people sitting there maybe a little calf this is the part san diego one the H10 hotels is up there and I've done a tour from the hotel I stayed literally down the road and I'll point out it again in a minute police are coming it's the sound of the police anyway part of the I got one and I said I'll point it out and that one takes you down the golden mile because I do a hotel tour of that hotel and then I show you what's around it so I don't need to go all the way down there because there's other videos of it in we have a supermarket here. Fantastic, eh? Now just across the road when we get there, I'll point it out, but there's a steakhouse. Um, personally, I would never go to a Tony Roma's, but it's to their own. So it's a, you know, one, one of the big ones around, what used to be around the world, used to be in America and everything. <coughs> so chain, that was the word I was looking for. Chain restaurant. So we're just gonna stop going any further here at this road, this big junction. As you can see, you can just literally go down there as well, there's one beach down that way. 
go right straight down there there's another beach the Tony Romas is just across the road there if you can see it it's just there about two meters down from that is the I can't remember its name Park Europe Hotel is what I stayed at and all-inclusive hotel very nice and I do a tour of that one it's a long tour 40 minutes plus because it's that big I then take you down the Golden Mile to show you the food places around it. Around here as well, you can see there's a lot of people who do the camper vans and that who stay around this area. A lot of them do surfing. Then you've got the H10 Consistador, I believe. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go about this way, people. I'm going to bring you back in and you're going to see what else is near the HD Park Cristobal. So, here we go. We're back here at the H Park Cristobal, Tenerife. And it's right across from the H10 Las Palmeiras. But there's a few good things here. Obviously you've got your shops, you've got the Railway Tavern Pub. Um, is that the Palms Fish and Chips? That's a pretty good one for fish and chips I'm told. It's really weird that I've never had fish and chips there. The Bell Bar as well. You've got your knick-knack shops. And obviously a health place. What well, I'm guessing is not the best chemist. Here's some chemists here. Yeah. Some the chemist stuff. Then you just basically got rubber shops on the right side. <laughs> Sounds so bad when I say that. Baza has got another shop. Baza loves the shop. Nice 24/7 supermarket. You got the Savoy restaurant coming up. Souvenir shop with a lot of knickknack stuff and really fake football kits. I don't even look real. Then Las Rosas, another restaurant. Apparently does a free course meal for ten and ninety-five. Oh, you never see that in England. We've got the Colonna two, colon two maybe. That you stay at, but there's also a bar outside it. Everyone's always sitting there on the right hand side. There's always people there. I think it's a bar. I've never really checked it out. Also, a bank next to it if you ever need to get money out. We've got Mrs. Mayagi's, an agent urban kitchen. That's actually very brand new. Only been open a few months. I believe it opened late 2023, maybe even early 2024. So that is here. I think it was late 2023. Wakanda's a very good bar. The inside, aesthetically, is amazing. But most people sit outside because it's too hot inside. We then, on the left, we have PJ's Sports Bar. Very popular one. Of this reasons, people like watching their football, for example. Santander Bank, who wants to go to Santander? Now that in England, but obviously it's the first start in the Spanish bank. Apparently there is a doctor's here. I don't really know much about it. take it as you do now I could walk you up that way up there but it's really pointless I did a vlog like this for the KN Columbus what's right at the top of that hill and yet again I show you all these down here some of the famous ones like La Boca and all that down here you've got the bubble what's that that tea drink thing then you've got all the manticles what is across the road they have a very good tribute Elvis act at night time not every night but there you go so the KN Columbus is right up there I'll just walk you down this way give you a bit more but as you can see already literally both sides here are full of restaurants and bars so many of them will be lost for choice so if you're not all inclusive of a half board or even if you are you just want to get something to eat you're going to have plenty of choices I always tell people as well go and look on Google Maps and then put your hotel in and you zoom in and pinch it don't you and then it starts showing you you can choose like restaurants and bars and they're all come up and then you've got an idea what you might be interested in from Italian to Chinese to Indian to Asian you know on, on and on and on British either Spanish so many choices uh, you've got the supermarket stuff here on the right now this shop here I've always tried to figure out how to explain that sports shop down there Sprinter 
Do you know decathlon in England? That's what that is, basically. Uh, I can't go outside of the road because they've got music blaring out, it sounds like. Don't want any strikes. All supermarkets, rental places. This was recorded on a Sunday. So some things are not open. But we've got the Traveller's Rest. Always busy. So you have to get in there quickly. Very popular bar. That there. The Traveller's Rest is there. Leonardo's is right on the... Here, yeah, that's another great bar. Entertainment and nights and sports for a day. All outside most people are, as you can see. And the last bar, really coming up. I won't go any further because the further down is Veronica's Strip. We've got our La Maricana Steakhouse. Uh, there we go. That's the last one. Not the biggest fan of this one, if truth be told. I've been sat there for ages and never been served, not even a drink. It wasn't even busy, so. But people like it, so. Unfortunately, that will be the last one. Because the rest down is on the Golden Mile and a totally different thing. Not the Golden Mile, Veronica Strip area either. Unfortunately, this restaurant has now gone. As you'll see everywhere, a lot of these e scooters are about. So there we go, that is the end of that lovely vlog I'm going to say mate, I think that was a very interesting look around, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any bars and restaurants you'd like to look up, tell me have a look at, I'll try and review them in the future. Thanks for watching this, subscribe and as always, stay epic.